everyone and welcome back to another eating video where we're going to try all these crazy different snacks that I got at the Asian market. Hopefully you saw the video before this. I've got on a whole bunch of products that I received in my Sephora box yesterday. I will talk about that at the end of the video and I'll probably take off what the lipstick that I have on. I just wanted it for the thumbnail. <laughs> and just as I introduce the video. Okay, we're going to have some dry, dry lips now. Let's get into it. I've got three savory, mm, actually I've got probably three savory, four sweet things? No, four, oh I've got four and four. Okay, we're good. Um, I do have an ice cream in the freezer. Hopefully I'll remember to take out these. I think I've had something just like it, but this, I just, don't judge me. Okay, what should we start with? Let's start with these. This is some sort of melon type thing. It's like a savory melon, but it just says potato starch, mashed potatoes. It doesn't have any of that melon on there. Okay. They're just kind of generic. Crispy things. We found a toy shelly. They're fine. They're very similar to the ones that I got from Whole Foods that are like vegetables. This almost kind of has a fishiness to it. Oh, there's spinach, pumpkin, carrots, chili powder, vinegar, amino acid, and natto. Chili is coloring. Don't eat this. That would be bad. I'm trying to decide if they taste different. I don't think so. I love it that they're just like little pillows. Mm. These type of things are my jam. These are the same kind of puffiness as like prawn crackers. Oh. The kind of sweetness is a little weird, but maybe it's only only on the like waffle cut ones. I think the sweetness is just on these like waffle kind of shaped ones. All right, these are good. 10 out of 10, would buy again. Maybe not 10 out of 10, but they're up there. Like those are good. I like those, I will eat those. Let's do a sweet thing. Or should I just do, yeah, let's do this chocolate crepe. Choco crepe, choco crepe. This is from where? Product of Japan. People have said to me like, oh, do a, ja do a Japanese candy haul. Like, I just get a bunch of different stuff. This is from Japan. I'm like, both this and this are from Japan. Uh, this, this one's also from Japan. So we've got a nice little mix in there. I don't know about these other ones. Oh, that smells so synthetic. Smells like nail polish remover in there, but they're all individually wrapped, so it shouldn't taste like shouldn't taste like nail polish. Oh, these are different than the other the the crepe little things that I had. The other ones were long and thin. These are fat and short. So delicious. Ten out of ten. Higher than that. These things are fucking amazing. I love them. Oh, I'm not gonna have another one. I'm gonna have your strength. I've got a lot of other stuff to eat. I like these triple layer creamy chocolate delicious flavored crackers. On the back it's like that. That's why I was holding it sideways. I wasn't reading it I'm like, no. Mm. Oh wait. Oh no, no, it's that way. Mmm. Choco crepe. Win-win. Power easy for life. These are chicken, 
chicken popcorn I don't know not popcorn like popcorn chicken so then okay you're not supposed to open it like that well you can't open it like that either Oh, I pulled the muscle. Oh, God damn. <coughs> you know what that smells like? That smells like straight up chicken bouillon, but like a really old chicken bouillon that's been sitting for months, maybe even years, possibly. These. I don't even, I can't even. Oh, it's sweet. Oh, come on, Korea. Get your fucking shit together. This isn't from Korea. This is from China. Get your shit together, Kwan Zuha Golden Future for Food Group. Yeah, China. Blech. Blech. They're spicy, too. The initial taste is really sweet, like straight up cereal sweetness. And then you, you bite into it and it kind of disappears. And then you get this like spicy aftertaste. I don't like that at all. No. Die in a fire. That's how I rate that one. Okay. Let's try this Calpico. I got this at Daiso. And I didn't try it. So. Non-carbonated soft drink. That's always good. Now, this is supposed to be reminiscent of um, why it's called Cal Pico is because it's reminiscent of this cow's milk drink that people would have. Oh, dry milk. It's, it's in here. So, it is exactly Cal Pico. It's not bad. Just the mentality of like, there's milk in this. It's not literal milk. It's dry milk. It's been added back in. The smell and the taste, when you think of artificial strawberry, dead on. So it's not bad because I kind of like that. It's not really fizzy. So for it to say non-carbonated soft drink, it's not a soft drink. It's just a beverage. It tastes like a melted strawberry milkshake, but more watery. I don't know about that. Uh, let's say like a 7 out of 10. I wouldn't buy it again, but I wouldn't burn it in a pit of fire with that power easy life. Die. Okay, these two I am most excited for. These are the things I kind of, not that I saw first. This is God only knows some sort of shrimp something. It just says Korean cracker. It's made with corn, sunflower oil, palm oil. Ola resin, rosemary, toco feralis, concentrated shrimp powder, mayonnaise flavored powder, sugar, and salt. See, I know, Koreans love to add sugar to fucking everything. Ruins life. Ugh. These are, ugh, it smells like ketchup. These are kind of those bugle shapes. We've had things very similar to this before. Not shrimp mayonnaise. Bitch, let me go in for another one. I do not hate it. That is actually kind of good. I'm trying to get enough to get a flavor. The sugar is not overwhelming. It's there. You can taste it. It's not okay. Oh, that was a really shrimpy one. Ugh. I almost really gagged for a second. Okay, no more. I liked you, uh, but that last one was woo. Oh, look too much for me. There's package. You saw the package. Oh, I love how on these these different latte bugle type things they have this little chart I don't even know if you'll be able to see it right there that says if you find a little black seed in your crisp it's nothing to worry about 
It's just the eye of a corn. You do not hate. If you like fishy things, 10 out of 10. If you don't, 0 out of 10. I kind of do. I'm up there with like 7, 8. I kind of like them. I kind of don't. There they are once again. Toki Doki. No. Uh, Champ League of Legends. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited to try, try these ones. These are supposed to be like a duck bulky. I think is how you say it. But this on the back says Sin Dong. Sin Dong Dong Hot Spicy. Sin Dong Dong Hot Spicy. Okay. We're going to try these triple layer creamy chocolate delicious flavored crackers first. And then I'll try that. And then I'll go get the ice cream. Oh, bitch, and it says spicy. You better not be fucking with me. You better not be fucking with me. I want spicy. Spicy. That is what I most look forward to in my Asian treats is like spicy. So when I get things that are sweet, I'm kind of like, meh, meh, meh. I want spicy. I got these kind of also because they're multi-packs and when I do a giveaway I can just put them in here like this. Um, Best Buy May 2nd, 2017, so that's good. If I do a give giveaway, it should be within the next year. Uh, hopefully sooner than that. Ugh, I got burps from the Cal Pico. The cracker right off the bat looks like a really cheap... Oh, it's triple, like triple crackers. All right. Okay. It smells good. They look like cheap non-sweet crackers, though. But it smells very sweet. I don't hate it. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Actually, I kind of like that. Oh. And all that bit I threw in here. I mean, not. Mmm. One sachet is 100 calories. I like that. I don't have any water. It's a bit thick. It's a little dry. Overall, very tasty. Delicious flavored crackers. And I think this is trying to tell you, don't fucking try to open it like this. It's not going to work. Oh, wait, it did. Bitch, these look spicy as I swear to God, if these are sweet and not spicy, I'm going to flip shit. Honestly, honestly, very spicy. Fuck, the second fucking ingredient is white sugar. Ugh! Duck bulky. Okay. Korean duck bulky season is like, seasoning is like one, two, three. It's the fourth ingredient, so. Just cover it in sugar. Ooh! Ooh! Five alarm chili. Holy shit. I hate the sugar on the outside. Stop doing that, Korea. Ooh, that is spicy as fuck. Yes. Mmm. <laughs> Holy shit. Ooh. Let this go, Pico. I'm gonna go get the ice cream real quick. Okay, if these do not have the sugary, yeah, I mean, you can even, you can see that it's like shiny. That's all sugar. If it didn't have that on that, 
These would be a 10 out of 10, would buy again, would recommend, buy it, go find it. But because of the sugar, I have to knock it down. I'm gonna say it's like a eight out of 10. Like I really like them, the spice is on point. But I cannot get down with that sugar glaze on the outside, I just can't. When I want spicy, I want like citrus and spice. I don't want sweet and spice, Ugh. Unless I'm eating like a sweet and sour sauce, then you can get, I, don't, I, don't like, it. I like that. Okay, so we've got these little gummies. Oh, that's cute. They're a little tray. Uh, first, let's try this mochi ice cream. Japanese ice dessert with azuzi bean and soft mochi. Five Japanese mochi, sweet azuzi bean paste, black bean paste, and ice dessert. So, ice cream. I have to be honest, and I did let this melt completely because I was running errands. So, hopefully it doesn't kill me. So there you go, there's the mochi on top with the sweet bean paste. I can't with the texture of it. It's the texture of beans. The sweet ice, shit and ice cream, it's sweet ice. That's pretty accurate. Let's try these mochis. Oh, they're like little flat, little flat balls. Mochi's good. Mmm, I love the mochi. This is not, this is not good. Oh, and thank you so much. Two people did donate. They donated for my other channel. So as I said in my video while I was walking around the Asia market, part of why I don't do these videos all the time is it's expensive. I have to spend money to make these videos and that's why I only do them once a week because it's like then once a week I can kind of splurge and go crazy. But this is like 20 bucks worth of shit right here. Not complaining, just saying. You could always, you could donate a dollar and that would be really nice. You could donate 50 cents, whatever, it, anything helps. I mean, I really appreciate the people on my other channel for donating though. That is fucking awesome. And I never ask people to really donate over there. Okay, let's try these Japanese candies. They all have like milk, so they're milk, milk candies. Milk essence whatever the fuck that is I thought they were gonna be like really hard like the other milk candies I've had they're hard but they kind of break up I want to try all the colors I'll just try some of them. I know there's no durian in it, but... If you don't like me chewing with my mouth open, the fuck are you doing watching eating videos? <laughs> Especially with candy like this. I'm gonna try one more, the blue one. Because I feel like those are very contrasting colors, pink and blue. And you guys are gonna get these in the giveaway. So I'm not just buying this stuff for myself. I'm buying it to give away. Oh. 
What is this? I just had to spit some of that out. I don't even know what the flavor of this is. It says on the back, corn syrup, sugar, coconut gelatin, dehydrated fruit juice, which is lemon, peaches, and milk essence. So it should only be lemon and peaches, citric acid, gum arabic, natural and artificial colors, and that's it. But yet, That son of a bitch tasted like no fucking peach or lemon I've ever had in my life. Ugh. So it's gonna be fun giving you guys some of them. The strawberry one was fine. Oh, it's like all in my teeth now too. Oh, I hate that. Okay, I'm just gonna move along. It's still in my teeth, but. I'm going to talk about the beauty stuff, so if you guys don't want to hear about it, thank you so much for watching this video. Thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you like some more and make the videos Monday through Friday if you stuck around for the beauty portion of this video. So if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you would have seen a couple weeks ago, I used a gift card that I got for my birthday to get a hair dryer. Well, my order came and it wasn't a hair dryer, it was some ugly ass lipstick. Um, I did get my hair dryer and this is the Sephora, I don't know what the make or the model is 1589027. Not that it matters, just look Sephora hair dryer. It's the $80 one. <clears throat> Honestly, that is a lot of money to spend on hair dryer. But my hair has never appreciated $80 more. Because I, my old hair dryer, I feel like I would get so many like little flyers and stuff, and this kind of makes your hair really smooth. Speaking of hair, I did use that Bumble and Bumble Beach Wave stuff. I actually kind of liked it. Uh, I was not a fan of the scent in the shower. It's kind of like a geranium esque scent. Smelling it now, it smells clean. There's not really much of a scent to it. On my face, I put that. What is it? Stila Argan Oil Foundation or some shit like that. Watch the video from yesterday and you'll see. I use the Fair Light and I have it on pretty much on the lower portion of my face. I don't really put anything on my forehead ever just because I don't want to mess up never getting any fucking wrinkles or pimples up there. <laughs> Uh, I did put on the, speaking of up there, I did put on the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by, who makes this? Who makes you? Benefit. Love the shit out of it. I kind of want to go get it now. I do love my Anastasia Brow Gel, but it was so nice to like really get in there and kind of, you guys tell me, what do you think of my eyebrows in this video? Blush. I'm wearing NARS Orgasm. I quite like it. It's very similar to the blush that I use from uh, MAC. Maybe I'll put whatever it is down below me. Uh, like, just right here in text. Very, very similar to that. This, this tart, tart, tartist? I still want to say tardiest, Amy. <laughs> it's tartist. Uh, lip paint. This is Namaste. I do actually like it. The thing that I don't like about it is it is drying. Not that it left my lips feeling dry, just that while it's on your lips kind of feel like, ooh, like there's something on there. And I'm not used to wearing lipstick, so that could just be me. But I really enjoyed wearing it around for the hour. I felt very like professional and cute and dressed up. Um, I think those are all the products that I used from yesterday's box. I have been using the Skin Ink stuff. Hasn't broken me out yet. I do have this pimple right here. It will come and it will go, hopefully, over the weekend. Um, yeah, that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you like some more. I make the videos Monday through Friday. I'll be back here in a little bit for some pizza. I'm doing a collab. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Have a great rest of your day or night. Bye.